we've arrived in Croatia. There's the airport. Ultra shock. Everyone speaks Croatian. We don't. It'll be fine. We don't. Stay tuned. After a super long sleep recovering from our 16 plus hour travel day, we decided to put sightseeing on hold in order to get ourselves organized in our new hometown, Zagreb, Croatia. Our first priority was finding dog food for our 10 year old dog, Ember. Next, we spent a large part of the day figuring out where to buy a Croatian SIM card. We're here at uh, T-Mobile, which is a Bon Bon reseller. How do you made the alarm ring on one of the phones yeah. just by touching it? So now we're sitting in time out. So that was a bust. Uh, apparently we weren't at the right spot. We're gonna go and try to find another location. Got our SIM cards, which was seven gigabytes for how much? 60 kuna, so it's $12 per month. Nuts. Oh my god. Take that, Canada. Then we headed to the nearest grocery store called Spar, only a two minute walk away from our Airbnb. We did our first grocery run today. We got all of this stuff right here for 383 kuna, which is like $76 Canadian. Definitely cheaper. I lugged this around for four hours through downtown Zagreb. Amber's dog food. Are you hungry, little lady? Oh, all this. Always try what your dog is gonna eat before you serve it to them. Make sure it's good. Oh, bad. So tonight is our first dinner in the Airbnb. I had some tough decisions to make because I wanted to make something that was quick, something that was healthy, also cost effective at the same time. So we went with pasta and veggie. Not just noodles. any pasta. Spinach noodles. We also got all of this, which is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a two, four of half liter beers for $26. Okay. And they're, they're big bottles. Pan. We had one at the cafe we went to earlier today and it was really good, so we bought a bunch. It tastes like a Grolsch, if you've had that before, but without the bitterness. It's much colder here than we thought, so part of our day was also spent shopping for a coat for me because I didn't bring one other than my Red Bull jacket. We went to H&M, there's one of those here. We went to Zara. Finally, it was at a store called Springfield. Bought a nice coat there. Justin's taking over the cooking. Let's see how he's doing. How are you doing? Good. Brussels sprouts, onions, garlic. It smells great. So we've been drinking coffee for two days that we make at home. And it tastes strong, it smells almost like chemicals a little bit. And so I decided today, okay, we tried a different brand this morning and it still didn't fix it. So I decided to look it up online. Why does it taste so different than what we're used to? We went out, we bought a French press. Here, no one uses those. Turkish coffee is what's popular. And you have to make it differently. You pour water in a large pot, you add a single heaping teaspoon of coffee for every cup. It says filter coffee drip is very rare. It was sort of popular back in the 80s and 90s as a status symbol. Thank you. Oh yeah, different still, but better. On our way to the police station. Apparently it can take two hours to get the form. Then it takes another two hours until you get called. People tell you in the comments on Google to bring water, snacks, and lots of patience. It closes at five o'clock, so that's why we're walking super fast and the camera's bouncy. It is 4.15. So our police station stop was basically a fail. We went to one counter on the main floor. It was not the right section. To get your address changed, you have to do it between 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. But we did find something along the way. We went to the grocery store and looked for hummus everywhere and they call it hummus. So a lot of people didn't understand what I was looking for. But we did find something at a restaurant. So it was 30 kuna, which is about $6 Canadian. It's a little small, hollow in the middle. So we're gonna have it, see if it's the best hummus of our life. It did come with a stack of bread. At least we'll get our hummus fixed and maybe that's it until we go to the Middle East. It's good. It's not like crazy good. It's just hummus. First gym session complete. We just went to Fitforma. 
where we subscribed. Well, we did one month. Jim was very busy. People are boxing in between sets, so I gotta learn how to do that. Generally, people are pretty big, so some work to do. I did Pilates, it was an hour class, and my favorite word was one more time in Croatian, and it's Njosh. So every time she'd be like, Osam, Njosh, Sejan, Njosh. It's really fun. It's one item that tastes different. I'm gonna miss you. I can't tell what it is yet. Well, I feel like the overall dish what? tastes like a wet dog. No, yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. How come? I don't know. The sauce, maybe a little bit? Or maybe the mushrooms? Well, and it's weird because that is not a taste. It's weird because I just ate everything by themselves and they all taste fine. Well, you're missing something. I've tried zucchini, it's fine. Could be the sauce. No, I guess it's broccoli. But it's weird because it's, you see, it tastes like a wet dog. Yeah. But it's not a taste. That means as you crunch it, you're smelling the wet dog smell and you smell it. Come on, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, great dinner. Uh -huh.